While Houston may lead the nation in childhood obesity, it also leads in creative solutions. Fernanda Mejia is one of the nearly 36% of kids in Houston ages 6 to 17 who are overweight. It took her a few years to lose the extra weight, and she did it slowly. I was like 9 or 10 when I came to Bounce. What I like about the program is they make you eat healthy and they want you to be active. In just one year, she went from a body mass index ratio, which measures body fat based on weight and height of 25, down to a healthy, normal 23. So this is about our standard portion size. The answer? The Summer Bounce program, which started at the University of Houston in 2005. The childhood hunger rate is odd in that children are the most likely to be poor. But good work is being done. The food bank feeds about 70,000 children a week and the nutritional value of their meals has improved due to the obesity epidemic. Well, the state of Texas actually at the school level has done a lot to change. We all moved to whole grains, low sugar, higher in fiber, more fresh fruits and vegetables. Though the food bank has grown, distributing 70 million pounds of food a year, feeding the hungry is still a Band-Aid approach. Hunger is poverty driven. It's poverty and near poverty driven. We know demand is increasing because we're watching what's happening with poverty and near poverty, and it's going up so rapidly. Uh, a lot of times people make the mistake of thinking that, uh, that we can truly solve the hunger problem by focusing just on food. I mean, it's, it's economic circumstance. What we most need is for our clients to be able to earn a good living. Many local experts believe we're beginning to see positive initiatives to eliminate childhood hunger and obesity. With ongoing community involvement, they hope these strategies will impact generations to come.